Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Warg, and you're watching Gas Tax. Today, we are going to be working on finalizing the rear end. So let me show you what we got going on today. We're going to be putting on the rear shocks, springs, spring pads, whatever these things are called, uh, stabilizing bar, you know, the thing that connects to this thing. So, and then I've also got to put some brake lines on. And I think I broke these when removing this uh, trailing arm. They kind of twisted here, so I ordered new ones from ECS Tuning. Those are 80 bucks a pop. Um, so I'm going to not worry about that now. I can actually fix that once everything's on. So let me put the shocks and the springs on while I catch up with Travarish on VinWiki to see how much the Lambo Mercy cost him because I have a feeling it cost a little bit more than this to get it back to normal. Let's jump into the project. Hope you enjoy. Alrighty guys, well, here we have it. Looks pretty nice. It was uh, kind of a pain. Obviously you got this with tension, this with tension. Not too much tension. This with tension, so just a kind of a bunch of wiggling around. What I ended up doing was, oh, I need to tighten this quickly. Um, I kept this in and then I removed this nut here or this bolt and then tighten this down here. I didn't tighten this one so I could have some wiggle room and play. Uh, and then this one I just needed to leave loose so I could have, you know, less interference with hooking it up. So I'm gonna tighten uh, this rod here and work on the other side. So now this side has been done. I must tell you, uh, it's not fun. It's not fun doing this bolt here. I started, I stripped the first thread trying to get this in. Um, luckily, I figured out stripping it. So I pulled it out uh, and then just ran the bolt in there a couple times to get it straight again. But there's a lot of threads in here, so I wasn't, I'm not too worried about it. But there we go. So now I'm going to uh, tighten everything down and I will let you know the torque specs. You guys asked uh, if I could let you know the torque specs since I'm doing it. So I'm going to take a picture now. We are all done for today. Look at that. Looking nice. I like all the blue. Cool, um, yeah, so what I've done is I've talked everything down now. I will leave the talk in there. Oh, I already showed you the talk. Look, the talk is a guideline. Do your own research. I'm just putting it down here because that's what I did. That's what I found. Um, some are in foot pounds, some are in Newton meters. So yeah, anyways, let me show you how I make sure I've tightened everything down here. Um, I always put a little blue dot on my bolts. You see there to make sure I've tightened them down everything I, I have done even even in the past uh, even that one up there oh there we go so every everything I have touched and then talked down I mark with that blue dot if it's a bolt like going in the frame I mark at the bottom if it's a bolt going into the frame i mark at the back so that is my constant that way i can always visually see if something has loosened uh while using the car i am waiting for a new brake line for this uh, rear rear trailing arm i'm not gonna do that now that's coming in the mail hopefully in two days so i will install these puppies when that gets here 
But for now, thanks a lot. Um, next video, I'm going to be doing the calipers, the brakes, and the pads. Uh, I don't think I will have the, the brake lines by then, but I'm going to get that done. And then, got an exciting uh, new interior. It's not in here yet, but uh, be sure to subscribe because that's sitting in my room over there. Just picked it up yesterday. Oh yeah, and what I also picked up was my complete mounted ice tires. These puppies are holding air, thank goodness. 140 uh, holes in each of them. One of them I drilled about 40 extra holes by mistake, so I had to plug 20 or 40 holes. And that one's holding air. So, it's holding air fine here. Once you start racing, that's, uh, that's the true test. But anyways, thanks a lot for tuning in this video. I know it's boring, but this is what it takes. So, until next time, I'll see you then.